gentleman from Arizona, Mr. Crane. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I want to I want to make a comment about something that one of my colleagues who just left the room said. You know, he made a reference to the former president of the United States and his family and their known business dealings in China and other places. You know, I found it interesting because one of the biggest differences between the Trump family and their foreign business dealings and the Biden family and their foreign, foreign business dealings is that the Trump family actually owns businesses. They actually own hotels and resorts, okay? Pretty stark difference from what we're learning, what many of us knew and now we're actually learning as the Oversight and Judiciary Committee actually get to uh, bring in witnesses. You know, the sad thing is for everybody in this room, everybody in this room, everybody in this town, everybody in this country knows that if the FBI and our DOJ had the type of damning information, hard evidence, bank records, et cetera, on the money laundering that this president, his family have been up to the last couple years, and their names were Eric and Don Jr., we wouldn't even be having this hearing. You know why? They'd be in jail. And this is exactly the type of thing I was talking about, Ms. Murphy. And this is exactly why so many of your colleagues have had enough, and they've become whistleblowers. Ms. Murphy, what do you think about that? So many of your colleagues have had enough. What do you think about the whistleblowers that just said, I can't do it anymore? I can't cover for the organization, the institution that I work for, because I didn't swear an oath to them. I actually swore an oath to the United States and the Constitution. What do you think about that, ma'am? Do you feel like they betrayed the institution? Are you glad that they're up here? Sir, I appreciate the question. Um, you know, I am, I'm proud and I'm happy that we live in a country where there's whistleblower protection acts and that people can come forward when they think things have done, been done incorrectly. You know, like I support the FBI. I think the FBI does amazing work. You know, ma'am, I think they do do some amazing work too. But I think we both know that its, it's reputation is massively tarnished. And I think we're both glad that we have whistleblower provisions in this country. But I think if we weren't, you weren't under oath and we weren't wearing these clothes and in this room right now and we were having a private conversation, I sure hope there's part of you that is embarrassed and disgusted with what the FBI has been up to and I know the American people are. I mean, look at, look at the movies growing up. You guys are in like every movie is the hero. When, when you were a little girl and you were watching movies growing up, did you notice that? that those, those cool blue jackets with the bright yellow lettering, the FBI on it. Did, was, that pretty, was that pretty cool watching those movies growing up and those TV shows and now getting to work for this organization? It's amazing to work for this organization. Yes, sir. Yeah. Is there a part of you, though, is there a part of you, though, that feels torn, ma'am, like, like the whistleblowers that are coming up here now in droves that just say, I can't, I can't do it anymore. I didn't swear an oath to the FBI. Is there a part of you that feels torn or not at all? Ma'am, I'm asking you a serious question. Sir, I'm very proud to work for the FBI. I think I stated that. I, I know you are. That's not what I asked you, ma'am. I asked you if you feel torn. Not at the least. Not the slightest. Mm -hmm. Well, that's, that's pretty sad, ma'am. That really is. And it really shows who your allegiances are to. It really does. And as somebody who served this country myself, and comes, I come from a very proud unit, the SEAL teams, I know that my allegiances are not to NSW, Naval Special Warfare, they're not to a SEAL team. And I am glad, I am so proud that we have men and women who see their oath to this country and they said, I can't do it anymore. I'm gonna go try and straighten this out so that the organization that I love can maybe, just maybe be turned around, quit being a partisan tool and actually protect 
the American people, which it clearly is not doing right now. Thank you. I yield back my time. Gentleman yields.